Android M is here. And although its primary purpose is to polish up Android Lollipop, that hasn't stopped Google from adding many new features that Android users are sure to love. I'm Joe from Fandroid. Let's take a look at everything new in Android M. On the lock screen, the clock has been slightly altered to look a little cleaner. And the shortcuts on the bottom are now a voice icon and a camera icon instead of a phone icon. So now you can do a voice search right from the lock screen just with a swipe. The app drawer is one of the biggest differences in Android M. It's now a vertical scrolling list with letters along the left side to help you navigate. Across the top, you can see your uh, recently opened apps and there's also a search button so you can quickly bring up an app that way. You can also quickly sort through just by dragging your finger here and seeing the letters. Perhaps one of the coolest features in Android M is called Google Now on Tap which is contextual Google search. So if you're in the inbox app and you have an email that mentions a movie, you can just long press on the home button and Google will see that movie mentioned on the page and give you more information about it. You can also do a voice search about something on the screen. So you have a picture in the Instagram app and a location is tagged. You can say, show me more pictures of this location and Google will know what location you're talking about based on the location that's listed on the screen. You don't even have to mention it. It's very cool. One of the biggest gripes in Lollipop was the change to volume controls and they fixed that in Android M. When you hit the volume button, you'll see this. You can go all the way to vibrate and then once more to do not disturb alarms only which is a big change because now alarms can get through do not disturb mode. So this is essentially the return of silent mode. And you can also hit this little arrow to adjust your media and alarm volume. Word selection is a little bit easier in Android M. Now when you drag and select, it will select word by word instead of letter by letter. So it's a lot easier to select big things. And But when you deselect, it does go letter by letter so that you can easily get exactly what you want. And eventually there's gonna be a little pop-up above the selected text that will have links for paste and copy. Direct share is a new way of sharing content on Android. Instead of just being able to share things to other apps, you'll soon be able to share things to other people. And you'll be able to do it in the way that you normally contact them, such as WhatsApp or Messenger. Do Not Disturb mode has been reorganized. You now have priority only allows options. And here you can choose what's going to be able to get through priority mode. And you have automatic rules, which will let you choose uh, what's going to happen in the weekend, weeknights, or events. You can see I have weeknights set from Monday through Friday and for Do Not Disturb to be automatically enabled at 11 p.m. through 8 a.m. and alarms only. In the quick settings, Google has added a shortcut to Do Not Disturb mode, which you can toggle on and off very easily and choose priority or total silence. In the developer options, you can sh click show system UI tuner, and that will allow you to adjust which settings are available in the quick settings area. So if I don't want cast there, I can drag that to the trash. And if I want to add it back, I can just do that. If you go into the developer options, there's a new hidden secret feature that you can turn dark theme on, uh, but really all it does is adjust the dark theme for the settings. Hopefully it does more than that in the future. One of the biggest overall changes in Android M is the way apps display settings and permissions in a system wide level. So when you go to the app page now, you can select advanced and here you're going to be able to see the default apps for browser phone SMS. You can see app permissions. So if you want to see all the apps that are using the camera, you can go here and then you can deselect and select them from here if you want. The settings page is much different in Android M. So when you bring up an app here, you're going to see a new section for permissions. And here you can select what you'd like your app to be able to access. So I don't want Instagram to get my location. So we're going to deselect that. You can also see the notifications and a welcome change. If you don't like the heads up notifications that pop up in front of whatever you're doing, you can turn that off right there. App links is a new feature 
that will let you bypass that uh, classic Android dialogue that asks which app you would like to use to perform an action and if you'd like to make that your default app. Instead of doing that every time for trusted apps such as Facebook, you can select this to be enabled and now as you can see any facebook.com link is going to automatically open in the Facebook app and it's not going to bother asking me anymore so that'll save you time and it will be a little bit less annoying for those apps that you trust. Android Pay is basically a rebranded Google Wallet but with more functionality. So you can hold all of your credit cards and loyalty cards in the app so then you can just pay with your phone by scanning it using the NFC. But you can also use Android Pay to pay for things inside of apps. So if an app supports Android Pay, you click the button and all of your credit card information and shipping and delivery stuff will be saved in the Android Pay app. You won't have to enter anything and then you can just buy it. The days of typing in a password will soon be long behind us because now in Android M, fingerprint sensors are finally supported. Google released some APIs that will allow vendors to build fingerprint sensors into their phones. And these fingerprint sensors will be able to, of course, unlock your device, but also you'll be able to use them to uh, buy things in apps instead of typing a password, and of course for Android Pay. A really cool feature that Google didn't really mention is that apps will now be backed up in the automatic backup settings. So if you notice on the screen, it says that app data will be periodically saved to a private folder in Google Drive. And when you start up a new phone, this app data will be backed up to that new phone. Doze is a project by Google to increase standby battery life in Android devices. So when your phone is in your pocket or you're not using it, the battery will drain very slowly so that when you actually are using your phone, it's still there. In a perfect world, you should be able to put your phone down and when you pick it up a couple hours later, battery has not decreased at all. Doze is aiming to do that. In the M preview, it seems to be working pretty good. I have to say battery life is a little bit better than Aunt Lollipop, but it's too early to tell if it's really working or it's just a fresh install. There are over 50 new features and improvements in Android M, but not all of them can be shown on video. For the full list, check out the link in the description. Thanks for watching.